Hey everybody, Tim Coates here with Ethos Car Care and today I want to talk about the truth about graphene coatings and what you guys can expect here in the near horizon with other companies coming out with their graphene version. So first I want to talk about our graphene matrix coating. I also want to thank everybody that's purchased from us so far. I'm really excited to see how you guys like the product and please send us all the pictures and videos and, and comments on the results you guys get. I'm so excited to see that. So talking about our graphene matrix coating, I want to talk about what this product is and what this product isn't. So first of all, a graphene is basically the next evolution of a ceramic coating. It's not going to be a bulletproof solution, so to speak. It's going to be an advancement of the ceramic coatings that are currently on the market, as well as give a little bit better performance in some categories, as well as easier application with our graphene matrix coating. So first of all, this coating is not a replacement for a wax. Um, I've seen some people commenting and, and asking us questions about whether graphene matrix can be used on top of our ceramic wax um, or underneath it as kind of a replacement for a wax type procedure. This is gonna be your semi-permanent coating. This is not gonna be for someone that's just looking to uh, add kind of a wax style application through their vehicle and wants to you know, continually wax their vehicle every couple weeks or every couple months. This is gonna be your one-time semi-permanent coating. It's gonna take a little bit more, uh, more experience and a little longer application than a wax would. So if this is your first crack, if you've never touched a car care product, We'd probably recommend staying away from this for, for the first time, but if you do have a good attention to detail and you are able to follow the instructions that we have set out, this would be a great product for anyone that's looking to do a semi-permanent coating. That being said, once installed, it's not gonna be a scratch-proof layer. You know, it's, it does have a 9H hardness, which basically means in our pencil testing through third-party verification, this is gonna be as hard as you can get in terms of the actual coating itself, but things like diamonds, um, diamond tip blades, those kind of things can still scratch and deteriorate themselves, which is a lot harder than a graphene coating. So it's still going to require proper maintenance. It's still going to require taking care of it. Um, it's not going to reward abuse. So this product is going to reward someone that is properly maintaining their car. And, and when you do that, you'll notice it's a lot easier to do so. The other thing is that this is not going to be water etching, um, water spot stain proof. It's going to be a big performance difference compared to ceramics, but it's not something that you're going to, you know, I don't recommend going out there and, and putting this to the test, you know, don't park this next to sprinklers on purpose uh, to, to see how well it's going to do. You know, in our testing, it's about 80 to 90% uh, improvement on a ceramic coating in its category in terms of water spot etching and water spot resistance, which is a big difference, but it's not going to be water spot proof. So I want that to definitely be clear out there. So like I said, it's not a bulletproof solution. It's not something that is going to be, you know, you put it on your car and you can set it on fire, hit it with lighters. You know, we're not that kind of company. We're not going to go out there and give you some really crazy expectations with it. All the claims we're, we're making in our, in our videos and our content are all going to be accurate. They're all third party verif verifiable and they're going to give you the results that you guys are looking for. So with that being said, this leads into my next point. I don't want to give you guys a little bit of an overview of what you can expect in the near future. So now that graphene is a thing, it's gonna be pretty common in the detail industry here in the very near future. There's gonna be a lot of companies coming out with graphene products, um, graphene coatings, and some of them are gonna be really good. Um, but some companies out there are gonna use the graphene name as marketing, as publicity to try to sell their products. So you have to do your due, due diligence and research the company, research the product itself, look at reviews, um, look at people who have used the products and their lineup and see really, you know, if they're a reputable company, if they have the technology to produce a product like this, because it's not easy. You know, this is something we've been working on in development for uh, well over a year and it's taken many, many iterations to get to the point it's at. Um, because many iterations before our final formula, it wasn't any better than the ceramic coating. So, you know, the bar set pretty high for ceramic coatings that are on the market. They're, they're, you know, at the end of their life cycle in terms of evolution, you know, just like how, you know, your smartphones now, your iPhone, you know, what are we on iPhone 12? I don't even know what it is now. You know, it's only a little bit better than the iPhone previous. Whereas if you look back to the first iPhones compared to now, it's a night and day difference. So as technology becomes more mature and more evolved, the improvements of those certain technologies are only going to be incremental. So ceramic coatings are going to be as pretty much as good as you can get. Whereas graphene is going to be, it's a newer technology, a newer evolution. So we had a really high bar to, to match 
for this product to actually be released because we don't want to release a graphene coating that was no better than the ceramic coatings out there. That would be kind of pointless. And then we're just in that group of companies and marketers that are just tying the name on their products and trying to get you to buy them because they're, they're graphene. So that goes against really what we stand for here at Ethos. And something I've developed in my own detail and business over the many decade uh, of experience I've had, I've always looked for the best products and the best techniques to give my customers really the best outcomes. And you know, that comes at a little bit of a price. You know, our products are not gonna be the cheapest on the market. And that's because what goes into each product is gonna be the best technology, the best ingredients, um, and the best research and science behind it that we possibly can come up with. So, like I said, this product has been over a year in development. We don't wanna release something that was no better than what's currently on the market. So, it took a lot of iterations to get right and to make it real. And like I said, in the very near future here, guys, a lot of companies are gonna be coming out with the graphene products, and which is great. It's great to see the industry evolving to the next technologies. It's gonna benefit all consumers across the board. But I do warn you to be careful. You know, there are gonna be some companies out there that are already use the graphene name to try to sell you guys products, not from the right place. Not because they wanna give you better results or better quality, but because it's another angle to sell. You know, just like we see all over Facebook, you know, these ceramic spray coatings. Um, they're tap tapping onto the ceramic name and, and the same thing's gonna happen with graphene, unfortunately. So, you know, it's my word and, and our ethics as a company, which is, you know, why we pick the name Ethos. We wanna give our customers nothing but the best products and we wanna constantly be evolving and, and be in the forefront of technologies to give our customers the best quality throughout the board so you guys can get the best results possible, you know, and it's gonna be something that we're gonna start seeing here in the very near future, guys. So anyways, like I said, I wanna discuss a little bit about the do's and don'ts with our graphing coating, what it is and isn't. Um, the truth about the graphing coatings here in the near future, like I said, some companies are gonna have really good quality products, um, but there's gonna be a, uh, many out there that are tapping on to that graphene name. So just be careful, do your due diligence, and research the products before you buy them. And as always, stay tuned for more videos like this. Leave your comments and questions below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.